strengths in terms of what I've been able to develop and skills that I've developed from football. I would say mentality in terms of my ability to overcome obstacles is a big one. Um, when I've been set back, I've always found a way to bounce back. Um, I didn't crumble and, and, you know, let it overtake me. I've been able to fight on and, and still do something that I want to do. Um, I would say just that idea of being disciplined and being able to, to have that hard work and put that extra out, put them extra hours in. That's something that I've always been able to do because of football. I'd be going to school just like everybody else from 9 a.m. till half three or whatever. But then after that, I'm going straight to training and I'm putting in extra hours whilst, you know, other people would go in and be able to play out with their mates. And, and I was able to sacrifice because of that. So I've definitely been able to take that going forward. Um, in terms of advice and for, for other, you know, kids who will be going through a similar situation, um, I think if you really want to make something of yourself, and you've got goals, you've got to want it. It's got to be you that wants it. It's got to be you that has that hunger inside because no one else is going to wake you up early in the morning to, to go on that run or to get that work done or to do that research or whatever it may be. You've got to want it. And I think that is the, the big thing. Don't listen to what other people have to say. Um, and if someone says that you can't do something, take no notice because they don't know what you're capable of. They don't know what you've got inside you. When I told my agent that I was leaving Nottingham, he was saying to me, what, so you're just going to stack stack shelves in a factory? And it's like, you don't know what I'm, you don't know what I'm about. You don't know me like that, bro. So yeah, wait on me. <laughs>